Hey guys, I'm Trish with Unique Me 303 Healing and Empowerment. I'm going to be doing um, a reading today for um, everybody that already knows that they're on their ascension process. So this is just going to be like a, um, basically give us a general energies for today, um, what should, we should be aware of, or, you know, it might bring up chakras that are being worked on. So this is for all signs for January 19th, 2019. I'm going to be doing this every day. Um, angel messages for ascension. Let's take this off so you guys can see me better. Um, and there's not such a glare, but anyway, let's just go ahead and get right into it. So universal energies, what messages do you have for all zodiac signs for January 19th, 2019 for Ascension? What messages do you have for Ascension? I must read both of those. Okay. I must read that one too. Thank you. Okay, guys, the first one that came out was cut your cords. Yay. We can see better. I got a lamp. <laughs> I got a lamp put down here so you guys can see these. So, um, this is about asking Archangel Michael to clear any old attachments um, from fear um, that stem from your past or um, even currently. So um, it's, it's just as easy as, as sitting down and relaxing and, and inviting Archangel Michael in and asking him to cut or sever any cords that are holding you um, back from your divine life purpose, um, gifts that you may be um, get, um, gifts that may be trying to come out and um, that you might be becoming aware of relationships, anything like that. So, um, cut your cords was the first one. Vacuum, went, vacuum away fear was the second one. And also this one is you can call upon Archangel Michael or Raphael to lift any fear-based energies from you, your surround, your surroundings, this situation, and everyone involved. Let's just keep pulling some more cards and let's see what else goes with these. So, um, goddess, I've got this a lot lately this is about um expressing your divine feminine energy um nurturing your intuition and um insights that you're getting so this is more about like learning to trust in the process learning to trust that um the 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 messages that are you that you're receiving are from the divine um learning to hone those magical qualities and attributes that you have uh, that's pretty much all I'm getting off that. Is there any more messages, Angel? Do I read this one? Okay, thank you. Any more um, messages that want to come out for all my zodiac signs for ascension messages for January 19th, 2019? Whatever messages want to come out for all those who are already on their ascension, aware that they're on their ascension process and waking journey for January 19th, 2019. Any more messages wanting to come out? I'm hearing yes. So let's just keep going. What messages do you have for all? There we go. All zodiac signs for January 19th, 2019 for those ascension messages. What messages do you have for all those that are on their ascension journey for January 19th, 2019? All signs. Thank you. So the next one that you got was fairies. So, um... This has been coming up a lot lately, too. I know that um, it seems like all of the elementals and the animal kingdom are really, um, or I should say, we're opening up more to be able to relate and speak to and communicate with um, the elementals, the fairies, the angels. Um, and also... Um, the animals, which is the next card. So power animals. So you might want to pay attention to um, all the animals that are that are coming to you repetitiously, whether it be through signs, pictures, um, on social media, and dreams, and meditation time. It doesn't matter. Pay attention to those repetitious animals that that you keep seeing. Look them up. You know, so if it's an eagle, eagle symbolism, owl, owl symbolism, whatever, um, so that you can find out what animal is working with you right now. I'm going to be pulling some animal cards, so we'll go ahead and see which ones of those are working with us. Am I supposed to pull any more of the um, angel therapy cards? I heard no. Am I supposed to do any angel messages? I heard yes. So let's see what angel messages want to come out for. Is, am I supposed to take this one? I heard yes, and then I'm supposed to take this one. Okay, Aurora, it says you're flying high right now, which may threaten others, but don't descend because others will soon be inspired by your example. Instantly, I got that this one is coming up because we have so much conflict that's going on from family members and friends that more it's more of an internal conflict with us and us feeling judged and things like that. 
So it's more of um, an internal struggle that we're dealing with right now. We just know, uh, we need to know that all people, the whole entire planet, will eventually wake up to gifts like we have or abilities that we have. Um, that all-knowing, that all-powerful part of God that is in every, but in every one of us will eventually be shown to the whole entire world. I, I believe by 2021, the end of 2021, or the end of 2022, most of the planet's going to be wake, woke up and trying to figure out what the hell's going on with me. Why am I so different? Why is the universe trying to give me all of these signs and, and omens, and what am I supposed to do with it? So just know that everything's going to be okay. Just push past the fears that you have and be okay with being the magnificent beings that we are and know that we are here for a reason. Okay, what other mess angel messages want to come out for all zodiac signs for January 19th, 2019 for all those who are on the ascension process or aware that they're on the ascension process? What messages angels do you have for all of my zodiac signs that are already aware that they're on their ascension process for January 19th, 2019. What other angel messages do you have? Am I supposed to read? Okay. All of, both of them? Okay. Isaiah is about giving, um, being okay with new I, new ideas that come to you um, as situ for new situations in your life. Just being open to receiving new things in your life, period. Um it says that I am watching over you and protecting you during these changes. There's going to be so many um, changes. You guys are already aware. Like, we get so many changes on a daily basis from minute to minute, second to second sometimes um, that come in for us. Downloads of information, um, different template downloads that are coming in or upgrades to our DNA, whatever you want to call it. It doesn't really matter. They're just labels. But um, Ray is saying that it's, it's a good time for you to learn yoga, meditation, um, I'm hearing prayer. So this is about um, our, our spiritual well-being, getting um, raising our, our vibration to higher frequencies through yoga and meditation, exercise, eating the right foods. Um, now, that's different for everybody. Um, I don't like those videos that come out and say everybody needs to be vegan if they're on a spiritual path and this and that and blah, blah, blah. Guys, it's as easy as, as thanking the food, um, those animals and the herbs the plants included that that um died during the process of making those for um for us to consume so i just always think um the animals and plants that died i just like that i'll say I'm, i thank you for um dying during this process of making food for me may it nourish my mind body and spirit and um I claim it as done as if it's already going to. And that, that's even with sugary stuff. I shouldn't do that. That's probably bad. But I'm still working on that, guys. We're always growing and always evolving. If we're not, then we're staying stuck. So any more angel messages for all zodiac signs, all those people that know that they're on their ascension process and journey for January 19th, 2019. Any more messages for today? I heard yes and I heard no. Do I keep going with these? No. Okay, I'm sorry. And let's go ahead and get some animal spirit cards. Animal spirit guides. What what cards want to come out for all zodiac signs that know that they're on their ascension process and awakening process? Thank you. Platypus is the first one that came out. So stop complaining and focus your attention on the blessings in your life. So a lot of us um, need to remember that we need to be grateful for all the blessings that are coming in. Camellia. Or I'm sorry chimpanzee use both your intuition and your intellect to solve the problem and get answers to your question um i'm not really getting much off the chimpanzee let me just meditate for a second see if there's any more messages that come from these so some of you are seeing a lot of um shadows a lot of other beings that are coming from the side from your peripheral um and some of you are kind of a little bit scared about this because this is new in your ascension process um it's very important that we set up boundaries with other um entities beings in the spiritual i um immediately set up boundaries like when i'm in the bathroom you're not allowed to come in 
um, unless invited, do not touch me during blah, blah, blah. Like you have to set up boundaries with them just like you would a human being. Um, and I've found that those are very helpful and have been very helpful in my process. Um, just know that they're going to keep coming. Even your fears, uh, having fears of that are not going to keep them away. What it's going to do is probably bring them closer that, so that you work and heal that fear away. So um, use some black tourmaline if you get real fearful. This is good for fearful, fear-based energies. Um, black obsidian. Any quartz. I love quartz for anything and everything. It, it's like the ultimate... Um, stone healing stone so i really love that one am i supposed to pull any more animal spirit cards one okay. let's see what other animal spirit card wants to come out for all zodiac signs that are on their aware that they're on their ascension journey thank you <laughs> okay so i seen this was on the bottom of the deck and i kept feeling like i was supposed to read it a second ago and i didn't and i don't know why i didn't but it was um Cardinal, where are you, Cardinal? Anyhow, it was the Cardinal, and it was about uh, things being out of balance, but the Mountain Goat came out, which is another card of things being out of balance in your life. So this one says there's something out of balance in your life, so do whatever it takes, whatever you need to do to correct it. So um, I think that it's going a lot with this, this complaining thing. Like somebody's got a lot... Of complaining that they're doing they're doing a lot of healing through seeing themselves through other people places and things so they're gonna see those things that they don't like about themselves that need to change um, some people call them defects it doesn't matter um, but we need to bring those things back back into balance so uh, continue working on healing those things in you that are out of balance and if you don't know what's out of balance Pray and ask for your guides and angels, the universe, to show you what is out of balance and how to bring it back into balance. It's that easy. Do I have any more messages for all my zodiac signs today for ascension messages? I do not. Okay, so today's I am affirmation. I know this is backwards because I'm doing this on um, selfie mode. <laughs> so anyway, today's I am affirmation is I am protected from all types of harm. The worst is yet behind is now behind me. Okay, guys, so everybody have a great uh, day and weekend. Um, come back and see me tomorrow for uh, more messages uh, for those who are already on their ascension, aware that they're on their ascension process and then in their awakening journey. And I love you. Have a good day. Goodbye.